this video, I'm going to talk about the data URI function in Microsoft Power Automate. Now, what is a data URI function? Now, in order to understand data URI function, let's uh, talk about some concepts of data URI. Now, when we write a HTML tag, we write something like this, img src equal to, and then the file name. Okay, so if the file name is, say, uh, say tim.jpg, if this is the file name, then you render it like this using HTML, right? This is a very simple convention. Now, remember, this has to be in the path of where your HTML is stored or any applications like ASP.NET or any other application which you render, it should be the direct path through which this image can be stored. Now, there are other ways you can refer. So now other things you can refer is if you are directly using your machine to use, then you can directly put the path name C drive. Or if you do not have that image file within your system, then what you will do, you will directly point it to uh, say some website, say, say kirishupal.com and then you refer to some file called as say tim.jpg and this is how you refer. So the first one is the file is already present within your uh, running directory. The file is present within your uh, machine C drive. Uh, the file is present in the internet. Now, what if we do not have all this location, say internet or your machine or your hosting infrastructure, then you can also embed this image uh, using some embed technology. Okay, so the, the code is basically, you just write IMG and then SRC equal to something and like this. Now, IMG SRC equal to, you need to specify something what it is you can say uh what what kind of data uh, it is so it can be an image it can be a png image it can be a jpeg image so i'll give an example i'll show you an example how it looks like so it will look something like this okay so it looks very cryptic but i'll explain you one by one data colon image slash png so if i just type data colon image slash png then semicolon base 64 semicolon base 64 comma and then here your image goes so the syntax is data colon image slash png base 64 and thereby you will put all your image encoded value now here you can also replace it with jpeg if your image is of jpeg format now what this dot 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 will contain okay now let me show you one example. So I have a file called as dataverse.png. So this is one file. Now I want to get the representation, like the encoded representation of this image. One of the option which uh, I can do is, let me show you, there's one website. There are many websites in the internet, say this one, base64 image. Now, if I put my image over here, then it will encode this image and it will give me the code of this image okay so if i just say click on show code then this is the data representation of that image so it has given me this particular whole thing. okay so let me copy to clipboard and show it to you in a different notepad and see how it looks so this is a encoded representation of the image so it says data colon image slash png semicolon base 64 and then from here this is actually an encoded image okay so this is how you basically capture all this value so let me copy this so because this we are going to use it in our uh, application so it starts with data colon image so what i'm gonna do i'll uh, i'll go to this record maybe i'll open a new tab and then um, i'll just come here Control c uh, paste this and remember this is ending with the encoded image so we have we have to write the proper code over here so img src equal to double quotes this one data colon image go down close the double quotes close the img tag and slash this is your encoded image uh, code in html right so all set let's see uh what is the purpose of data URI? 
okay so i'm in microsoft power automate what i'm going to do i will be creating one flow which is which will be an instant cloud flow and call it as uh, encoded data manually trigger flow create i'll prefer the old interface and here what i'm gonna do i'm gonna uh, get that file okay now in order to get that file we need to store it somewhere now we can't store it like i've already stored my file in say c drive this is uh, dataverse.png file but i can't refer using power automate cloud flow using that so i'll make use of one drive so in one drive here in one drive so this is my one drive i'm going to upload this file so let me upload this file so this file is now in the root of OneDrive. so it is uploaded dataverse.png to my files and if you just refresh this the file should be present yes the file is here then what i'm gonna do i'll make use of OneDrive. okay so if there is a OneDrive connector so there is a OneDrive connector let's find that out where it is So let me see where I can find the OneDrive connector. Oh, okay. So I, OneDrive for business. So this is the OneDrive for connector. And here, uh, there are there is one connector, uh, connector actions, which will give me the file content. Okay. Now this is that connector for get file content. So if I select this connector actions, get file content, and if I point this file to the root, and in the root, I will point to dataverse.png image. So this is how I take a reference of that data. Now, if I click on new step, let me use a compose action just to show you that method, data URM method. So if I click on input and then I'll go into the expression and from here, I will just type data URI. So what data URI does is it, it expands expects a value which it converts to the data URI. Now, what is that value? We need to provide the source of that image file. Okay, so that source of the image file is coming from get file content. I'll go to the dynamic content over here and I'll just scroll down and get the content of the file. And I'll click on OK. I'll click on Save. So what we are doing, we are taking the help of an image to generate a data URI. Now that image is stored in OneDrive. Now I've shown you the manual way to generate the data URI. The image was stored in C drive. What we have done, we have taken the help of an external uh, application and then it has generated this URI. Now we are going to use Power Automate to generate the same URI, okay? So it starts from here and then it ends with uh, the character cc over here right so here now we have uh, taken the compose action we have used the data uri i'll click on test click on manual and then i'll run this flow so now the flow has ran successfully it has iterated through the get file content. It has referred to that data, um, that dataverse.png file. And in Compose, it has given me this output. Now, if you take this output, as you see this output, let me show you the show raw output and I'll copy this. Let me copy this and paste in a separate notepad instance. Here you will see ending with CC and starts with IVBOR. The one which we generated manually had CC and it had generated this IVBOR as well. So now it has already generated this. So what we can do, we can use this to generate an image. Now where we can use this to generate an image is, I'll show you an example. So let's use make use of uh, Outlook connector. So if I click on new step and here, I'll just say send email. Send an email V2 and I'll send it to myself and I'll say image data URI example. Specify the body. Now here, 
what we need to do we need to make use of this html tag over here the code view so in code view this is the code view this is a p tag so here i will say img src equal to now as i mentioned to you that we need to put it in a single quotes and then take a reference of this output of this compose action so let me take go to the expression and our dynamic content and in dynamic content i will point to that output and end it with a single quotes end it with a slash and that's it so what essentially we are doing we are essentially generating an inline image file okay so we have taken img src is this and the output is this so remember in my first example which i showed it to you like we can represent in this format as well now the advantage of this format is it will get embedded inside the application so you need not point to a file stored in the drive or some external location or uh, some external hosted url so you can uh, use that as a hard-coded image in your application so click on save and i'll run this when i uh, when this flow gets saved okay so let's test this test manually click on test and then run the flow now if you have not made any mistake then you should properly see the output in the email itself over here yes so i have received an email so if i click over here i can see that image file is embedded within my email okay so what we have done what uh, the process which we did is one is we uploaded the file in one drive because we need somewhere that file needs to be stored then we have uh, written a compose action in that we have written a method called as data URI. Now the data URI will generate a data URI representation of the file. Now the, in our case, the file is a PNG file, which is a dataverse.png file. And I explained to you in my, uh, while explaining this logic, I said that, you know, in order to generate the data URI, you can write this format IMG SARS equal to data colon image slash png semicolon base 64 and then this value now this entire string will get generated by the compose action now the compose action as you see over here the compose action has uh, already generated this value now from here you can in uh, while using send an email you have sent this email using a data uri method and the file gets rendered within the application. So that's it, folks. Uh, this is how you basically use data URI function in Microsoft Power Automate. Thanks for watching.